Oh, you Jeez, come in. Everything is for me now. And this bloody oven of a room. Fan back on. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. What happened? I literally went to click on the four seconds in this life. Ah, uh, how annoying. I have to do all of this. Do, do, do. Very nearly back with you. I will be. If we glitch out or anything again, I may just stop. I don't, don't know why the internet. Discard changes. No, I don't want to discard changes. Just save. Thank you. That's saved. That's saved. That's saved. That looks normal now. Hopefully, we should be stable. So, welcome in. Hello, hello. Um, so, we're right at the start of the next season. Yet, we're still do just finished the friendly cup thing. Um, I did send a message in Discord, so you've seen the the signing, but basically what happened was the internet's an arsehole. Gonna wait and see if this recovers. It appears to has it? it appears to be okay. Let me see if yeah, cool. Uh, so transfer history. So what happened was at the end of last season, well in January, at the end of the January window last season, I sold Fatty for 220 million to Bayern Munich. With the 220 million, I bought Raheem Sterling and Mason Greenwood. Into the next window, we get Fatty back for Sterling and 80 million. So I basically got Mason Greenwood for free and loaned fat well I got Mason Greenwood in exchange for loaning Fatty to Bayern Munich for six months that's pretty much what has happened if you exclude any finances and I probably made a little bit of money as well so I made a little bit of money no I probably didn't but yeah so I got Mason Greenwood for loaning Fatty out for six months whilst getting Raheem Sterling in to replace Fatty so it wasn't even like I was without a player so that was an epic sign. Um, this dude is just going from strength to strength, our central defender, who was a CDM. And then we got a few nice freebies. So we did get him in on a free and Ben Yedder in on a free. Um, a couple of others. Oh, Taliso. Taliso in on a free. So I've actually sorted out my bench as well, look. I got really annoyed. So goalies together, defenders together. Well, not my bench, my reserves. So the bench is a mess, but we don't care. Um, all defenders together, then all midfielders together, and then all forwards together. So it was easier to find people. Um, so we got them. Who else did we get in this window? There's one other, I thought. Maybe that was it. I think maybe Romero. We didn't have Romero before, did we? Can't remember. Free Mason Greenwood. That'd be amazing for everybody, wouldn't it? If you could just get this player for free all the time. Talking of Masons, so I got Mason Mount as well. Uh, Mason Mount was uh, so who was at Chelsea bought Chekowese and sixty-six million. Mason Mount was worth. So they basically gave me 220 million for Chekwezu. Sold Fatty and Chekwezu for around 220 million each. Um, but yeah, it went well. Could be a time thing, but um, she doesn't. She didn't answer me because I messaged. Because she messaged on your thing eight hours ago. Or maybe I mess I messaged her five hours ago just to say hi, hope you're doing well. That was it, just because 
we hadn't seen her for a while, but yeah, I saw she commented on yours. I think another, maybe another issue with my streams and my stuff is a lot of the people that interact on the other streams are quite young and whether they feel the same interaction with me as they do Jamie and Mark because Jamie and Mark are 12, 13 years younger than me you have to remember so that is a massive difference well, I'm old enough to be everybody's dad so whether you'd want to watch your dad stream in FIFA is a very different thing which I get But that's probably why I like Marky, because uh, he does say he, that he's your uncle's favourite YouTuber, and I am an uncle. So we may end up signing somebody else, so we don't think we really are looking at that. Maybe a left back. Oh yeah, we've got Carl Walker as well, I didn't mention that. got Carl Walker in just as for like a season really because he's 34 oh yeah because we sold our other right back that's why I think a lot of people know my actual age because it has been shared numerous times and I don't stand for their stupidity so I've probably annoyed a lot of them by correcting them in chats and stuff I like making sure people know the correct thing. <laughs> it annoys a lot of people because they're not. Nah, 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 nah. I'd rather be corrected by somebody and then be correct next time I go to deal with something rather than be wrong all the time. So I just need to learn to take con constructive criticism. But that comes with age. That's obviously oh, that's somebody I had on my transfer window. Nice. Oh, my options before Real Madrid are after Harvey Barnes. Do 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 do. Yeah, Brandon Williams isn't a bad shout as a backup. I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna get it. But I'm going to try giving Sis Junior instead of Harvey Barnes. But there's, I, I'm pretty certain it's no chance because I think he's worth a lot more. Yeah. That ain't going to work. Oh, Real Madrid has some really bad forwards. Uh, ooh. Be too much to hold out, but yeah, that's annoying. <coughs> Don't really want any of those. I don't really want any of those. If I had any of those, I'd take um, Gabriel again. Gabriel. And I've got two Hernandez left back. Are they brothers? No, I don't think so, but maybe they are. I've no idea. Look similar if. Oh, he's. Oh, I've read that the other way around. I thought he was 85 rated, age 22. I was about to wet my pants. So, anyway, there's no players from Real Madrid that we want, which is astounding. So now we just push them for money. You're welcome to say it, sorry there's not many people here, so
You're getting closer. Get out, Zinedine. That's cool, Osama. We understand. You don't ever have to say that. If you're not about for a day. You're not about for a day. I haven't spoke to Fox for... When did I actually last privately message Fox? On the 14th. Oh dear. That's a while ago. Um, sorry Fox. But I know we've been busy. We've been chatting on groups and stuff. And he's back at work and things. A GTA stream. What sort of GTA stream? GTA Online. A um, bit of the story. Or what is your Grand Theft Auto idea? As I watch a uh, Grand Theft Auto speedrunner, um, his YouTube channel is Dark Viper AU. Um, he's one of the top GTA speedrunners. And I watch him play Chaos Mod on Twitch, which is great fun. But you need a lot of people watching that can vote on it and stuff for that to be a thing. Um, thank you, AA. But if he's 49 and got a potential of 74, I don't think I need him. Our squad is well past that. We are in the Bundesliga now, as Saarbrücken. We won the cup last year. We have Fatty Bum Bum rated 92. Mason Bounce rated 89. So unfortunately, that player wouldn't, wouldn't be strong enough anymore. Buy him and then sell him. How long is it going to take to get to 74 as well? I'll search him, but we probably everybody knows Harlan's good, thank you for that. That's some great scouting work there. Yeah, mods in Grand Theft Auto is good, so that's what I mean by the, the chaos mod. Um well it's in the title there mod isn't it? Nah. Uh, but yeah. Um, but chaos is where they vote on a random effect. So you could have, oh, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but like bouncy vehicles or slidey peds or everybody explodes or your car disappears. Just stuff like that. There's lots of interest in that. He's tiny, five foot five. Thank you, Osama. Uh, indeed, if you're interested in coming back anytime, AA, do like and subscribe, and we'll we're streaming most evenings. Oh, some. Oh my God, Fox. Uh, Foxy, not Foxy. Sigh. Look at this going on mate your boy your boy is being touted by Barcelona 146 mils he's he's part of the family now though Jal Pedro who is Liam Delap that's Rory Delap's son isn't it you can go away he's not going to Leicester we might let him join Barcelona. Is there really? I've never heard of that one this summer. That sounds pretty crazy. But I suppose there's games out there that sort of do that already. Um, I don't really want to sell him, but none of your forwards are good enough. I see what you're coming from now. He can still go, yeah, he could, could probably get up to about, maybe up to a 90 if I keep playing him the way I am. Okay. Uh, 
I'll listen to this. If you give me that, you can have him. Anything else, no. Nope. I said anything else, no. So now you refuse that. If you pay this, you can have him. Pay me monies. Give me 200 million for him. Or you can get out, mate. Go on. Get on the bus. I ain't listening to you anymore. Go on now, go. Walk out the door. Don't turn around now. I'm not listening to your bullshit anymore. You can go out, mate. We've got loads of goalies, so getting him some game time would be useful. Do, 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 do. Hi boss, I hope you don't mind. Don't mind what? I probably do mind, that's why you've come and asked. Uh, so I'll go forward a week, just in case there's any transfers. Why is my internet being weird? Can't refresh anything. There we go. Gonna have to delete the 44 second stream at some point. And the new person didn't subscribe. I really don't understand. But anyway. Why why do that? Why come in and say buy this player, buy an, and then disappear? I haven't not subbed or done anything. Probably goes into all the FIFA streams by this player. If I'm wrong, prove me wrong. Um, oh. Still shows the same number, but cool. I've seen it now, it has updated. Thank you very much. We have a solid crew of few people that stay regularly, so welcome to get to know them. Usama is sort of the boss, because he is here every day. I can I leave Usama to deal with a lot of the things. Uh, do we let La maybe let Lax out go? I don't know. Another week before you get the internet back. That's annoying. People say, really? Does that actually work? Well, it, it probably works for some people. But they know I'm lying. Because I don't have any cookies to give away. Oh, I maybe. Ow! The bloody hell just stabbed me. That's strange. Stabbed myself in the elbow without realising it. There's nothing there to stab me. And I stink. I need a bloody shower. Working in this heat is just a pain in the poo piece. There you go. I gave you a cookie. That was the best I could do. Having wifey withdrawal symptoms. Yeah, I can imagine. But you got your phones, haven't you? You could always use a hotspot thingy if you've got some spare data I could change the point system to cookies so when you do this it will say you have 675 cookies or whatever Has anybody come in for any of my players? That's it. Messi is still about. Yeah. I haven't looked for Ron CR7 Ronaldo. But um, I just went to Barcelona. I have six. Yay. Um, but yeah, Messi is like 38. 37. Still worth 38 million. 
which isn't bad. Look at those physicals. He's in real trouble. Still a very, very good player. So if he's 37, that would mean Ronaldo would be 39, wouldn't it? Because Ronaldo's two years older than him. Holy moly. <laughs> and he's still... Oh my day. So do they just stop at 82? Is this like a Buffon thing? Now Buffon stuck at 82 and never retired. Are these two just going to stay at 82 and never retire? What's going on? Let's reset that. Let's see if there's any 50 year olds. I've submitted. No player. Right, we're going to go for... I'm, I'm just messing about now. We're going to find the oldest player left. Let's go from 45. There must be a 45 goal. There is. This is the oldest man left on the game. He plays for the strongest. A player for the history books. Right, do we do we sign the 45 year old goalie if we can and give him a game? That's a question for the chatteroos. Holy moly, there's 43 year old outfield players. Um, I'm going to buy him from. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're both retiring. So I can't get them. Daniel Vacker's not retiring, though. He's 45. So we're going to get the 45 year old. See if there's a 42 year old. Ooh. Lots of 42 year olds. Well, three. Oh, he's retiring. Oh. Oh, he's a goalie. He's a goalie. No, we don't want them. Mura's that old Ita um, Italian, uh, Japanese player, isn't he? I assume he. I think he just retires first off all the time, doesn't he? Yeah, I realise. So yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think Mura, Mura automatically retires at the start of the game. Well, not at the start, but at the end of the first season, every single time because the game just doesn't allow for him being that old as such. Okie dokie. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. What am I doing? Someone tell me to stop. Anybody puts the word stop in chat, I stop. If nobody puts the word stop in, we keep this going, we keep this madness going. We're going to give him another goalie actually, I'm going to be kind. You can have so. No. Look, he can't be worth more than ten pounds. So I'm gonna give you twelve pounds. I'm happy with twelve pounds. I could have probably got him for a quid. I wanted him, wanted them to have, wanted them to feel like I wasn't taking the mick. Oh, you had CR7 at Udinese, did you? Nice. Right. Oh, so I, I'm in the I'm in the negotiations now. Should we tell him he's a prospect, even though he's 45 years of age? See what? Oh, he didn't like that. Sporadic. So I, you you were too late, bro. I'd offered the 12 quid. I want to see what his rating is now as well. That's purely the only reason why I'm still going through this. I appreciate you saying stop, though. You were thinking of me. Oh, he wants three grand. Right. Every I'm not going to go look at him. Everybody has to put their number in to think what the, what his rating is. So I'm going with that. This is what I think his rating is. I think he's rated 58. Everybody go with your numbers. And we'll see who's closest. Thirty-seven. Usama's gone for 37. Damn. Oh, they didn't. My manager rating down went 27. Uh, there'd probably be some 15 year olds because you can get your youth squad, can't you? But so, so that's a lot harder to 
So we'll do 62. So we've got a 62, a 58, a 37, and a 27. What's AA thinking? Take a chance. I've got that song still stuck, man. Right, I'm going to give you 40 seconds and then we're going to go look. And anybody else who's lurking, if you want to have a guess, how old the 40. Well, he's 45, we know how old he is. How, what rating our 45 year old goalkeeper will be? And we're going, we're going in. AA might not get to have a guess. Oh, yeah, and I signed this dude, he was a 20 year old. Yeah. That's why he went into the team ahead of the 6 foot 7 Spaniard. Um, but down we're going. Is AA going to get a guess in? Don't think so. It's going to appear now. 64. Wow. And for that. That's quite crazy, actually. I thought it would be lower. Well, we all thought it would be lower. Some people went magically lower. But Amy was the closest. So you win. I don't know why I'm typing it. You can hear me. Uh, Amy wins a hundred points. So whenever we do anything like that, we'll do a little, little points giveaway. Where is it? There's loyalty. Where's Amy? Amy, 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 come here. There you are. So that has put Amy up into fourth place. There you go. So in you are. Amy is updated. Uh, Babaka, yeah. So he's going to get a game. I'm not sure when. You are still first by quite a way. You can do a little top. Top. Oh, top five. What is my thing? To go. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Internet. Browser. Stop annoying me. So let's do top five. Take a chance. Uh, 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 uh. Bam 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 bam. So yeah, we loaned out the other goalie and bought one in for twelve quid. So those are the top five. Most of Marky's points are pure as well, just by being here. Marky's a great advocate. Go forward another week and a bit. Oh, that confused me for a bit because, oh, excuse me, size name has a number in it, doesn't it? So I was like, how has he got 701652? What's going on? Then I realised it was his name and his points. Right, has everybody been chatting for a while? Whoever. Whoever it selects, I will give 50 points to. Have a bit of a... Tits. Oh. Well, oh, Osama got it. Let me just make sure there was... Sinister. Damn! That's an old face. How you doing, my man? Hope you're doing well. Keeping good. So everybody else in here won't know Sinister, but Sinister, again, is one of the people from the coronavirus chat. So he knows GJ. 
Um, he knows Vandal, who has appeared here. He knows Ozzy, who has appeared here. He knows Fatima, who has appeared here. Um, but yeah, me and Sinister used to do do some random gamings and sort of chatting at stupid hours. Um, I remember we used to. I, I did some Among Us streams at crazy hours, and Sinister was randomly watching because he's he's in Australia. I don't know if he still is. But um, I hope you're doing well, Sinister. I haven't seen or spoke to you for a long, long time. Um, but I hope you're doing well and through the other side of all the, the bullshit like most of us now. And hopefully work or life and everything's treating you good. I'm doing good. Hot and tired and shit though. It's a bit warm in the UK right now. Yeah, so we've been streaming for around two, three months, Sinister. So these guys are all part of the little community that we're integrating with and growing. I think you did used to be a mod, Sinister, but apologies, I've removed a lot of them because I was just getting confused. I think I reset it all at one point. I'm sure you're not too worried. But yeah, um, if you're still on Discord or anything like that, always welcome to give me a shout as well, dude. Good, good, man. You're at work. Cool. Welcome in the pub. It's decent, man. Glad to hear you're doing well, because I think last time we spoke, we were both in a... Well, I'm quite open with my chats. So they know that I have a few mental health issues, so it was just because of the, the lockdown, and we were both just fed up with it all, and just tired so I'm, I'm glad to hear that you're you're doing well and pass pass through all that hopefully is it bit yeah it's probably been that long Osama because I went into Jamie well, I, when I went into Jamie's Among Us thing, that was around dis, uh, just a few days before New Year kind of thing. So that's when I met Jamie and Marky. Uh, sorry, I stopped talking because I saw the thing was spinning. I don't know how much of that you caught. But um, yeah, I met Jamie in an Among Us stream. Around and then uh, been in Marky's stream. Is the stream a bit glitchy for you? Let me know, guys, because it's I keep getting weird circles on mine. All right, where are we up to? My neck is so itchy as well. Oh yeah, I did have a look at Neto after you after you said it. Take care, Sinister. Thank you for saying hey. Welcome, welcome in. And yeah, we'll we'll keep in touch again, man. Take care. Ah, so that's why they were saying I didn't get back to them in time. So, uh, Sinister may well return for other streams as well, so at least you all know, know of him. But yeah, he's another good lad. We had a good little group on that, um, that channel. Take care, Bert. Uh, me, Sinister, Ozzy, GJ, Vandal. Um, I have one other who I have on Facebook still. Um, first name is Benjamin. I won't share any more than that. But him, um, he was on uh, the chat as a uh, John Wick was his his name. So, but you see, most of us have like alter alter names. Like Sinister, Ozzy, um, King Ragnar, John Wick, so. All the people that came into our chat used their real names, like Serena and Fatima. But then again, me, Sinister, I think all, the, all of us were all moderators and the ones 
the other the other ones that I've mentioned were just chatters. So Sinister was a moderator alongside me and GJ. Like the interaction and banter between all the people that were in the chat, but it was also crap days because it was when we all thought we were all going to die of this disease. Well, for the first couple of months anyway. We all soon started to understand what it really is. So it's Dortmund in the Super Cup. This is not a worry. Whatever happens, happens. That's all good, Usama. I was um, surprised, should we say, that you sounded like that. I thought you'd. I don't know, I thought you'd sound a bit more kiddy. A bit more. Why are my two defenders so fit and everybody else is dead? A bit more, I, I don't know how to sound this without sounding racist or something, but a bit more foreign maybe? Like a sort, sort of twinge to your accent or something maybe? No, it's very clear. So they were signed by people in he was free, he was... He, don't tell me he was... Oh god, I think he was free. He's got 33 million, what a twat. Uh, we'll probably play this this game because you guys haven't seen a game. If you want to see a game, we'll play this one. <clears throat> yeah, it's hard to know how to say certain things without sounding bad or prejudiced but I'm definitely one of the least racist people in the world if that can be a thing. Um, I'm very tolerant of, tolerance probably the wrong word to use as well but um, I went like when, what I was talking about on Jamie's stream in a way relating to sexuality and stuff as well I find it all very interesting and um, I find the human aspect of everything very interesting I want to understand why how what 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 they have to go through and stuff like that. Like one of the things that always sticks with me is what Lewis Hamilton asked Toto Wolf. So we all know who Lewis Hamilton is. He's seven times world champion in one of the hardest sports in the world. Um, he's very me, very intelligent guy. Um, does a lot of good work outside of the sport he's in but he is the only black person in his sport essentially um, and Toto Wolf for those who don't know is the sort of manager the sporting director the one that does the day-to-day -day stuff for Mercedes-Benz Formula One team he is German and he is white so Lewis Hamilton asked him after the George Floyd incident and during that time when he was first starting for the campaigning and he asked Toto Wolf how often do you think you're white and Toto Wolf was like what on earth do you mean and he was like how often do you think actively think oh my skin is white and Toto Wolf was like well, I've no idea probably never and Lewis Hamilton said well Every single day, I think, at some point, I'll have something to remind me that I am black. And for me, as a a white guy, I never had to deal with... It, like, 
white men don't quite understand the level of entitlement that we're provided um, we're not female we don't have to battle the sexual sexist things like the men are better or that women can't do this women should be this women should only be at home so again we have that advantage we're, we're male which is still slightly the more dominant unfortunately especially if you go to different cultures as well it's even more so um, and then also I'm I'm as white as they bloody come you've seen how much I burn in the sun like I can't get any whiter um, so that automatically gives me subconscious and cultural privileges that it shouldn't we're all 52 chromosomes is it in the human I can't remember 52 chromosomes um, we're all human beings we're all um, just trying to live our lives trying to do the best that we can for ourselves for our friends for our family except those that aren't that we're not commenting about so it doesn't matter all the sensible human people on this planet are all the same whether you have black skin pigmentation white skin pigmentation blue eyes brown eyes green eyes like you don't have any kind of thing relating to eyes or not that I've really known about obviously Hitler had it a little bit with the blue eyes blonde hair Aryan race thing but w why why be prejudiced or detrimental to somebody because of their skin color but not their eye color Like, very similar reasons as to why you have different eye colour or different skin colour so why are people not racist to all the green eyed people um, because it's less visible and it's less obvious um, and the, when it comes to sexuality as well I have a couple of close friends who are gay um, and I, I'm not gay I do not find a male figure attractive but it's a very it's not a it's not a black and white like that like would I find um, look without like if you didn't know and without the prejudice side of deer and like the the macho oh no I wouldn't do that like be honest with yourself don't worry about what everybody else thinks of you be hundred percent honest with yourself and I will send a picture on discord um, of things that have happened in the past and people who have had changes um, so people who were technically born with male genitalia but are now female and look more feminine and more like a woman than many women do would you find them attractive? Would you end up sleeping with them? Does that make you gay? Does that make you bi? Does that make you trans? Well, it does make you trans because being transgender is when you... But anyway, like where do all these things fit on the spectrum? Because it is a spectrum. It's like a rainbow. A rainbow is a spectrum of light. Sexuality is a spectrum of feeling and emotion. So what's saying you couldn't end up falling in love with them because there's also the thing of um, pansexuals which is somebody who doesn't get sexually attracted to a s specific gender um, they're attracted via your mentality and your intelligence and your cognitive thoughts so I, I just find it all very interesting and in that everything in life is not as you can't put everything into different boxes you can't assign labels to people like saying so many people are, are autistic autistic again is a huge spectrum and um, I don't necessarily believe that everybody that's classified as autistic has something like that related like some of it could just be <coughs> people using it as excuses 
because we didn't have all of the things before but then again i think i have something along those lines like the way my brain can focus so intently on numbers and stuff is quite freaky um and i don't necessarily feel certain emotions that i potentially should at certain times and then other times i feel too much emotion and it's, it's again very hard to explain but um again find it very interesting Religion, again, that's a very different subject in a way because it's not, there's not, it's not like sexual, religion is more black and white than sexuality and intelligence and brain functions. Like you're, you're either Christian or Muslim in many ways. Oh. Um, you you can't be a little bit Christian and a little bit Muslim and a little bit Jewish like you could with sexuality you could find uh, trans gender women sexy so you could find a, somebody who looks like a woman but still has a penis attractive but not a man um, but then also find like one of the gay people at work I've, I've had this discussion with him many times because again I find it very interesting I want to learn as much as I can and he said um, he it, well he's obviously gay but he said his ideal partner would be somebody who looks like me or Sai or Usama or Foxy so he looks like a man has a like facial hair but has female sexual parts down below so has a vagina he said that would be like his Christmases all come at once because um, he finds men attractive but he also so again could that happen to a man uh, to a straight man could he find transgender attractive and fall in love with him and then end up having it's not gay sex but it is gay sex because there's only one place to go it's, it's, I just I don't know it's very intriguing and it's not as easy to just classify and stuff. And I, I was I saw a program on it about a year ago. It is a, a Doctor Phil, so I wouldn't recommend it because it, his shows are generally pretty trash. But um, one of the discussions they had on there again I found quite interesting like, as to why they think um, transgender or th anybody in that sort of community LGBTQ plus I can't remember what the Q and plus stand for to be honest because LGBT is quite obvious lesbian, gay, bi, trans but I can't remember what the Q or the plus mean um, But yeah, uh, they were on the show. There was this marine guy whose son was turning into a girl, wanted to be a girl. And his son looked quite pretty as a girl. Still sounded like a man though, unfortunately. So he had a voice similar to mine. Because um, of me dressing up as a girl would be terrible with my beard and my voice. Fortunately, I don't feel the need to. Um, but yeah, so they were talking to the dad and the dad was just disowning him, just like crying his eyes out like, how could you do this to me? Like, you've ruined my life now, son, kind of thing. Like, how can I remember all the times we went out together? And Dr. Phil was just there saying, well, it's still the same soul. It's still the same person. You went and enjoyed all those activities together. That hasn't left. They're just their outward appearance is different. Inside, it's still the same person and they both just burst into tears at that point um, and the other part I found quite interesting was what, yeah, as I say, as to why they think it occurs so for those who are left I think I bored a couple of people away um, 
but you know all humans and is it other species as well I think it might be all mammals so I'm not certain of that though but I, know, I know all humans start off female um, in the embryo stage so everything is female and then we're pumped with hormones to change that so a human fetus is female it's then pumped with testosterone and other hormones to change it into a man or a male um, and then when he's born he has a penis and continues in that development but what if in the womb that embryo that baby is being pumped with the hormones to change them and it is given in the hormones to change their sexuality, their organs, their appearance. But all the hormones are absorbed and used during that process. So all the hormones have changed them. They've made them into a boy physically. But there wasn't enough hormones to change their whole brain chemistry. So they're living in an outer body that has all the forms and traits of a man and a male but their brain never changed and is still completely female so that's why they think it happens or that could be one of the things because we is we don't we will never I, th I don't think ever understand what happens in that process it's like um, the caterpillar and the butterfly thing. Like uh, science does not know how, in a way, it does that. The fact that this animal cocoons itself and basically turns itself into like a pulp, just to, almost like liquid in a blood, and then reforms into this butterfly. That's so many things our brains could not comprehend. They don't know. Um, we all. We all start as women in summer. If you you can look this up on you on Google really quick and educate yourself in in which at what stage it stops. But um, they won't have eggs left in them because I don't have a womb. I don't have ovaries. That's why I have a penis and testicles and I produce sperm. Um, so you, you only have one or the other. Um, you can have hermaphrodites that still have the female organs inside. Um, but again, that is a very different thing because that's obvious as to why they have the sexual orientation they do because they still have the hormones coming from the ovaries um, but men do not have that men have males it, again it's hard to use the right words and stuff as well isn't it with that I don't want to offend anybody but a male body obviously has a penis it doesn't have the ovaries inside so you cannot have a baby you cannot do anything but you could, no, I don't even, even cloning you still need an egg, I think, I'm pretty sure all of it, any kind of onward development needs an egg, I don't think you can fuse two sperm in that way, because you don't even need a sperm, I don't think, you just need genetic material, enough genetic material, and it, you can inject that into an egg, I don't think you even need sperm really. She could reproduce without a male, I think. Again, that, I, I don't know enough of that, so don't take that as gospel. Everything else, if I don't say, is true. But um, that I'm not certain of. But that's how they clone. I remember when I was young, so this is a long time ago, in the late, in the 90s, they announced about this sheep that they'd cloned, and that's sort of how they described how they'd done it. I still don't know if they ever really did, or whether it was just a publicity thing. But my brain is full of semi-useless knowledge, and quite interesting knowledge as well. But yeah, so again, back to the trans and stuff, that could be a, a reasoning as to why. Genetically modifying can change everything, yeah. It can't 
can't change how a ba uh, how we create babies. Then. You're always get, always going to need an egg because the egg is what you like. Like it, you have to imagine it's like a chicken and stuff like that, don't you? Really, the egg provides a lot of the nourishment, and um, that's the bit that hooks onto the uh, woman's womb, the, onto the. The, the placenta is what's ejected afterwards. What's the wo wall of the womb called? Ah, my GCSE biology is a little lax. Um, but yeah, um, so the, the the egg always has to be involved, even in test tubes and stuff, because the egg provides the basis of the human. And then, because what the egg does, it just splits every single time over and over. The egg starts as one, then splits into two, then that two doubles to four, the four doubles to eight, the eight doubles to sixteen, sixteen to thirty-two, thirty-two to sixty-four, sixty-four to hundred twenty-eight, hundred twenty-eight to two hundred fifty-six, two hundred fifty-six to five hundred twelve, five hundred twelve to a thousand twenty-four, etc., 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 cetera, et cetera, until it splits so many times you have a human being with millions of atoms and stuff. And again, I'm not a hundred percent sure of that, but that's what I recall is happening during that process. You haven't probably done a lot of this yet, Osama. This is sort of GCSE biology. But you'll be learning, you'll learn bits of it at various stages. Genetically modifying could change other stuff as well, actually thinking about it, because what you do with genetically modifying is you can add or remove genes into the gene pool. Um, so you could completely wipe out any hereditary diseases because you just remove the gene that carries that. Chromosomes is, I think there's 52 chromosomes in the human body, isn't there? And then there's obviously half in each, or it might be 58, so I remember 29, 29. Oh, two pairs of 23, um, so 46 chromosomes. Oh, I did not know this. Apparently we have 22 sets of... Oh, where's that gone? And then two sets of sexual. Very interesting. Oh my god, I could be on this page for days. Oh, pardon me. That was a bit naughty. Wow. So we have 46. A guppy has 46 as well, which is a type of fish. A lab rat has 42. A domestic cat has 38. But I think that's... Because I remember saying this when I was really young to my mum and she got really angry. Because um, I said uh, children with Down syndrome are technically not human. <laughs> that's what I used to argue with my mum. Because I think Down syndrome, they have an extra chromosome. I think they have, or one less maybe, I think it was, maybe it was one more, yeah, um, so Down syndrome is a genetic disorder caused when an abnormal cell division results in an extra copy of chromosome 21. Again, I don't think we know why or exactly. Yeah, yeah, because they, they call it trisomy 21 as well. But there's another one like uh, trisomy 23, I've heard of maybe, which is a, a, it's a similar thing to Down syndrome, but it affects them differently. I, I think I've shared it on Discord before. Um, I'll share it on YouTube right here, right now. But I watch this channel a lot. Let me see if I can get it up. Um, so this channel is called Special K 
kids special books or special books for special kids so let me get that up for you because that's really really important special kids special books it's called uh, of which I am a subscriber one of the three million subscribers but yeah please anybody who's left here please watch this please go and subscribe to this you'll make a massive difference to so many people's lives but yeah go and watch this channel and that's all I'm saying this is the reason why I've decided to become a teacher like the guy who interviews the mainly children in the videos there are adults as well he was a former teacher um, and he's amazing truly amazing I think his name's yeah his name's Chris I can remember for a minute yeah subscribe if you're not subscribed please please subscribe watch the videos when they come out like it truly makes me consider my position in the world makes me think of others makes me more empathetic than I am and I'm ridiculously empathetic as it is I cry probably daily as a 37 year old man I cry daily for things and other people's pain my own pain um, men who don't cry are actually more toxic than those who do um, it's a very toxic world we live in as we all know and the fact that men are forced to believe that they should not show emotion they should not cry is disgraceful and disgusting anybody who does that you should take a good hard look at yourself because that is the sole reason that men aged between 25 and 40 are the biggest suicide number on the planet. Men, anybody in here who's a man, fucking cry. Man up and cry. Stop being a pussy and holding it all in thinking you're a big tough guy. You're not. You're a fucking idiot. There you go. That's my stance on men who don't cry. Sorry if you don't cry, cry Si. But you will fucking do now. Because it's, it's, that is what kills so many people. Show your emotions, let them out, stop bottling it up. You'll turn into a vicious psychopathic murderer. Like, imagine what I would be like if I didn't let out those sort of things. You've all heard my rages, you can hear the underlying pent up anger that I often have. If I didn't cry as well, imagine. God. I'd have probably murdered people by now. Ooh, Jal Pedro's gone up to an 87. So anyway, let's let's talk about nice things. Yeah. Not that that wasn't nice, because that, that channel... Thank you thank you as well, Usama and Sai, for subscribing to them. And do do watch some of the, the older videos. Um, uh, which one... I'll share, share with you a couple of my favourite stories. Um, I'll try and find the, the the kids and the people that especially touch me. So Grayson is one. Let me give you Grayson. So this little guy is fucking amazing. He is the best. You'll you'll understand why. But he is the best. So this is Grayson. Go and watch Grayson later if you can. So I don't feel like a baby. Ignore the fuckers that make you think like that. They're the ones that are going to die because they have a heart attack at 50 because they've held in all their stress and anxiety. So yeah, that was Grayson. He's a lovely little lad. And probably Ruby. Ruby's fucking amazing. This is uh, Ruby's mum doing a day in the life of Ruby. And uh, yeah, Ruby.
Ruby's really special too. So Grayson and Ruby are my two to start with and then just watch all of them. It'll change your life, honestly. <laughs> I'm not just saying that. It really will change you. So let's get on the chair, get me cigarette lighted. Let's get a game of football going and have a final relax together before bed and stuff. I'll probably call it a night soon after one, before 1.30 have a nice relax myself maybe watch one of these videos I'm gonna watch one of the special kids special books videos after the after the stream in fact let's choose one that I'm gonna watch and you can all watch it potentially with me as well if you choose to again I really hope you do um, I'm gonna watch about Brooklyn I've been meaning to watch her for a little while so this is the one I'm going to watch afterwards. So that's the one I'm going to watch afterwards. Right, let's have a go. Right, I've got the ball. This feels a bit weird. I've been online for two, over two hours. Maybe two hours. I haven't played a game. So I couldn't read all of that, Osama. I saw you said you're going to read through something. If it's their channel, that's great. Beauty. Oh, read some in the biological internet. Yeah, you're always welcome to ask me anything you're interested in, so I'll probably randomly know something about it. But yeah, that that, that channel, like, I should share it more often with more people. Like, it really will change. Just even how you think about something for a couple of days like your interaction with people for the next week like how you I don't know it just it, tu it touches your soul unless you're a, a truly cold-hearted callous person but I am probably what's technically known as a psychopath by definition um, but I, I still cry and I still feel I'm probably not a psychopath anymore, I'm probably too empathetic for that, but as a, as a child I was. In relation to oh, using people for my own benefit in end games and stuff like that. I had a lot of psychopathic tendencies. I'm a lot better. Because a psychopath isn't like a cold heart killer, that's a sociopath. So a psychopath is more somebody that will use you for their own gain and just twist you around their finger and stuff like that. You want away from the camera. I'm smoking though, dude. Right, let me go. Let me go. Let me get there. I'm here. Where am I? I know that's my messy bed. Hey! I want to know why it's blue. <laughs> I need to fix that. I'm going to spend a bit of time on Sunday sorting stuff out. Do you know what? We'll put this camera on. You can watch me smoke, just don't tell anyone. Me bit of fat. Ah, me bloody red neck still as well. Look, bloody sun has ruined me. It's ridiculous. You had an op when you were born, so si. cool, man. Not many people have that kind of thing to have lived through. So I was born extremely premature, so I should have died when I was born. That's about it. So I'm, I'm so lucky in a way with my prematurity and stuff that my, my brain's as good as it is.
So is that something that still affects you, Sai, in relation to um, any brain activity and stuff? Because obviously you say you suffer with a few bits as well. Um, like, do you get random headaches or anything? Like something, anything like that? Like prolonged headaches or nosebleeds or anything that's obviously related to that whole thing that's connected. And does it affect your memory or anything anything deeper that you wish it didn't? Don't, do, don't put it on YouTube chat if you don't want to as well. You, We've got Discord. I think there's only us here now anyway. I've tired everybody else out. But I know it's interesting to know, man. And I, I never... I never th look down at people, I never think down of people, like, again, as I said to a summer I don't want to sound racist, I don't want to sound up my own arse or condescending or anything like that right now, like, I'm very lucky in the brain I've been given, my, I, I could, give me anything and I will figure it out train me on anything and I will be as good as the person that trained me within a couple of weeks on anything and I mean anything um, except maybe painting I'm not very artistic um, tested by everything I, I just my brain is like a sponge it wants to know everything like you pr probably can't see it but like my head is much bigger in comparison to what maybe is always on the hugest bloody thing I, I'm very lucky with that so I realize that as well and I like helping people and that's why I want to become a teacher because because I can give back to some kids I can make a difference to people seven foot square room on my own I don't have a partner. I don't have any kids. I'm 37. I'm probably not going to have kids. I, I probably shouldn't start talking about this whilst my face is visible. Um, but again, that's through some of my own life choices. And you never know. Like as a man, I still have a chance. I'm not like a 37-year-old lady because that'd obviously be more difficult. Um, so in that that way like that does worry me sometimes as well with the potential loneliness when cuz I'm going to be I'm going to be 50 in less than 15 years and I'm still single no no real family well no family of my own like I have my sister and my nephew but it, that's that's different in a way I I don't want to like that'd be weird becoming reliant on your younger sister and your nephew for shit, I ain't doing that um, I have three or four very close friends but then I always think well what if they die before me and then there's literally just me you can see it worries me a lot without ever having actually thought about it because it's still in my head but also fuck it let's play on Carp DM, but also Carp DM, <laughs> make the most of it. For those who don't know what Carp DM means, it li literally means YOLO, but in Latin. It doesn't mean YOLO, in, well actually it sort of does. Seize the day, it stands for pretty much in Latin. Right? Oh that's a ball and harp, why is it so hard again? Ah, oh, no, it's so blooming warm. He's very adept at protecting the ball. What is that, buddy? Alexander Barbosa. Oh, sorry, I've seen you send a long message.
Okay, that's interesting. I find that really interesting. So, will your foster family uh, are your family then, mate? Like, doesn't matter what blood means fuck all from my point of view whoever gives you the care and attention their family nobody else my birth parents are blood related but they are not family and never will be um, so Uh, I remember, because like, obviously I'm adopted, my next door neighbour but one from my parents' house is a foster carer and she fosters a lot of kids and there were some kids that were adopted and uh, the the new adoptive parents came and met the child and spoke to me, uh, my sister a bit because they knew um, and they asked me, I can't remember exactly how they asked, what they asked or, or how they said it but I, all I remember is my response which is if it's something to do with like what happens if the child tries to find their birth parents when they're older and I was like I really wouldn't worry about that if you've given them the time and the consideration and the care and you're a loving family like it doesn't matter you're still always going to be their mum like my mum is my mum we don't have any of the same chrom what well, same blood or same DNA. But she's my mum. Um it's like with Jet. Like he's he's mine, but he's a cat. <laughs> um and the w the ones that help you when you're in your darkest, that's who real family is as well. Like you guys are family in a way. Like I know if if I started crying right now because of it all, you'd all be like oh. there messaging and stuff like that's because you can choose your friends. You can't choose who you're related to. And then you're being good at maths. That's quite interesting side because that's sometimes the the harder bit to do. I'm sorry, my camera is really blurry, so you, you might have to turn up the quality. I don't know if it's my end, so apologies for that. And uh, Amy's point about doing well, not doing so well under stress or pressure. So that happens to everybody, whether they admit it or not. If you're under stress or anxiety or in a situation where you are not comfortable, you will not perform as well as you could in a situation where you are um, and everybody learns differently as well so people can learn from reading people can learn from watching so there's audio visual or listening so listening's audio um, but I can't, I can't remember them exactly and I really wish I could but there's four ways of learning and I can't remember the exact names for each but one is listening to somebody tell you it one is writing down sort of what to do one is watching somebody do it and one is doing it yourself as you go um, and everybody fits into one of the four as their better learning trait and the problem is when we all go to school we're all taught the one same way to get the classes done like you can't teach a certain thing in four different ways that everybody learns. You have to teach it in a way that sort of covers all four of them that everybody can sort of pick up something. And that's why in many ways the school system we create doesn't work for everybody. It works for many people but it doesn't work for everybody. There's a famous old picture, famous, it, it would be called a meme now but it was a picture used for a long time. Um, and it had a guy sat at a desk looking at six animals and he turns to the six animals and says right we're going to test all of you and your ability in life and the way we're going to test you is by how well you can climb that tree um, and the animals that were there were an elephant, a monkey, a goldfish 
worm and something else a snake but and it was obvious only the monkey could climb the tree everybody else couldn't and that's what the school system is it's not completely like but it is a bit like it's like getting a, an elephant testing an elephant's intelligence by how well it can climb a tree or well, the elephant's going to look like a twat when he's not a twat like if you ask then did a test the next week on who could pull the most logs the elephant's going to win and then the monkey and the goldfish are probably going to look like a twat and then if you ask them to see who could swim the furthest in five minutes this, the um the goldfish is going to look really good isn't he and the elephant and the snake are going to look like a twat like that's that's where this is meant and sorry you don't need to worry man i started Fair enough, Amy. So you struggle with a lot on a day-to-day -day basis that other people can do without a problem. Is that in is that in relation to? Well, I probably can't think of anything because I can probably do it without a problem, as you sort of liken. Um, so, what sort of things do you find difficult on a day-to-day -day basis that you think oh, I really? I should, I should be better at this or I really shouldn't because I I have to force myself to act in certain ways to make sure um, I don't know it's hard to explain again but I used to annoy a lot of people when I was younger by being overtly in your face maybe like because I know a lot of stuff and I just be like now nah, you're an idiot all the time to everybody about anything I, I used to probably alienate a lot of people whereas now I try and let my empathy show through as you hopefully see with the way um, why I am the majority of the time obviously I happen to still have my moments where I just flare up and like, the day I left that discord channel and stuff like, we all have those moments and I apologise for my, my day where I lost it I do feel like the older brother of the group so sometimes I do have to be the one that stays strong but again like we said earlier all men should cry and if you need that moment take that moment yeah man that'd be cool <laughs> I don't mean to sound disrespectful but that sort of stuff's quite cool and do you I don't, I don't want to Again, this is not meant in any detrimental way or just sound bad, but is is that part of what you think affects your speech, maybe? Because... You have a slight lisp, lisp maybe? Is it called a lisp? If it's... Because I think a lisp is when you bite your tongue, isn't it? So it's a speech difficulty. Because uh, my birth father had a crazy stammer. And I did as a ch child, I got n n nervous I would be like that, but I don't get that really anymore. O occasionally, like then, that was a real one. I can get that, and I do have a thing where I repeat myself. I've commented on that before, where I often repeat the same thing maybe two or three times. Uh, so that's um, maybe more also a female thing Amy women have to fit this stereotype and you have to you must look like this you must look like that you must do this you must be able to do that and that's a societal problem again like with men not crying um, but you are good at things like you're, you're good for sigh you've got your little ones like some some people can't even do that in many ways um, some people's difficulties are incredible so you have to look at the the good aspects as well so you've got pretty good health between you I do. there's not any obviously you've got the issues from before like size head issues and stuff and headaches and things but um, you're relatively healthy, you don't have any major breathing issues or, or heart issues or anything like that. 
um, your little ones will you you're everything to them you are the only thing they want and you have a slight dis I've not noticed that as when you're speaking uh, like if I hear you in the background on side streams I don't notice that to be fair so I wouldn't worry about that directly either um, so in relation to bullying as well Usama like I, I think I've mentioned it before if not I'll, I'll, I'll say it anyway um, I was bullied at school um, but I, I didn't let it, like, it, it, it sort of annoyed me at school, I didn't really care, because I realised the people that were bullying me were idiots, um, I used to get bullied, so I went to a grammar school, because I passed the test and went to a school for very clever children, and then, like, I could never be bothered to do any work, I'm one of the laziest people on the planet, um, so I got fifth. Uh, 12, you do 12, I got 12 GCSEs, A to C, but I was predicted 12 A's, um, so I didn't do as well as I could have, and from the years, age, year 7 to year, year 9, I was bullied, because uh, people were like, how on earth did you pass the test, because I just, I didn't get as high results in them in tests, but they probably studied all weekend and did loads of work for it for months, so I did nothing and showed up and they'd only beat me by like 2% so if I'd done as much work as everybody else at school I would have smashed them all but I'm too lazy work at school if you're at school age and you can work work um, so yeah I used to get bullied at school a lot and I just I, just, I think I've been too mature for too long I just ignored I <laughs> didn't care um, but yeah you'll learn that that will come in the next few years I would say you're getting to that age now. Oh, you have a lazy eye. I, I don't think I have too bad. But I always used to be a bit paranoid about one of my eyes. But yeah, obviously, it's nothing you can probably see. Um, but everybody has a slight one. Um, I don't know if you know this as well. You can Google this. But everybody has two halves of their face. I probably can't do it looking at the camera now. But one half of your face the muscles are stronger than the other so one half of your face you automatically look sad and depressed it's really hard to do but you uh, google it let me google it um, and it's why your brain works differently on different sides of your face as well I don't know how to google it though to be fair Yeah, yeah, this is it. No one's face is symmetrical. So, so if you can do it, it's pretty fucking cool. Uh, this dude managed to take a photo of his face, but use one half on both sides. So one side of your face auto automatically looks sad, and one looks happy because of the muscle and other stuff. This is really trippy. I love this sort of stuff as well. But yeah, go and look at these. Go and look at that picture, and you'll see what I mean. I'll do it another time. Sorry, don't worry about it. Your brother has taken over with your son. How old is your son? That's uh, partly the teacher's fault. It shouldn't be a teacher if they can say that to kids. As I, I'm very uh, like with like when I how I get with you and um, Foxy on pro clubs. See, so you can sense that I'm probably getting frustrated, 
but I'm only frustrated because I know you can both do better. I don't ever, like if I sense that that was the best you could ever be, I w I'd play and we'd play and we'd accept it. I wouldn't say anything. If that was the best you could be, that's fine. As long as you're being the best you can be in, in that situation, I won't say anything. And I wouldn't ever, ever say to a child you're going to amount to nothing because that is disgusting. Everybody has their own place in this world. Doesn't matter whether you're Albert Einstein or... Or me, or you. Like, I couldn't think of something opposite to Albert Einstein because nobody is opposite to Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was just very intelligent. Everybody else has their own things that they're good at. Like, I'm exceptionally academically intelligent you might say I, I'm very good at picking up math very good at anything like that but emotionally I might be a bit more s retarded in that way like I can't sense when somebody likes me like a, like a girl I've been single for nine years now I probably could have had one or two girls in that time but I just don't get the sensation and I'd probably walk away or say something dumb or like I just I, I sense that could be like that for a long time because so I think I've definitely had girls flirting with me over the last few years and I've just not realised and then it's too late so he's seven okay well do you do you message him do you reach out to him do you call him where does he live does he live with his mum is it partly her causing? Like again, we can discuss more on Discord. It's a quite a personal thing. Why are you the most boring person, Usama? You're a school child. You can't have a massive amount of activities already. But I'm probably the most boring. All I do is go to work and do this. Go to sleep. It's not exactly exciting. <laughs> My sunburn's really bad as well, so if you see me doing this, it's me rubbing the peeling bit at the back of my neck. It's really sore. And I apologise, I'm going to smoke on stream, so I'm going to have to drop the camera down, because I'm not smoking in front of people. Uh, smoking on stream's bad enough, let alone visibly doing it. So I'm going to just put the camera down, but I'm still here. And if we need another camera a bit later on to get us through, we will. But my hair's getting quite long, I was kind of looking at my hair maybe I can start myself looking a bit pretty again maybe anyway camera off well that's good isn't it right by my bloody stupid camera better well Sammy you see how I speak you don't have to be energetic for it to and it doesn't necessarily mean it's dull um, like Jamie is probably between me and Marky if you watch Jamie's streams and then compare Marky to Jamie and then Jamie to me I'd say Jamie's probably like that middle ground isn't he right? there's no right or wrong way of being um, like I can be very jovial and make things funny and stuff but you don't have to be all the time and I don't think Marky is all the time it depends what you're doing and what you're speaking about as well so yeah exactly like exactly what Amy said there um, if you had a subject you were interested in or you were you knew about it sounds totally different Okay, so that's uh, interesting. So he's moving on, which is fair enough. That's more common anyway in these situations. Um, so he calls you every day, but he talks to your brother. Is that because does your brother have something that they both talk about more? They both have a common understanding or interest in something? Is there something that you could like maybe? like my nephew my nephew showed me Roblox and stuff like that so we played some Roblox together a little bit so I understood it um, 
then again, saying Roblox is not the right thing because Roblox has bloody thousands of games. It was like a Grand Theft Auto style Roblox where you had to be a policeman and go and I don't know, but, but yeah. Um, so I'm trying to keep up with it, please. So, Usama, yeah, as I said, Usama, you'll be all good, man. Don't worry about how you are perceived. Um, you'll realise once you get to my age, people actually prefer prefer that than the, the crazy hyper guy all the time. Um, Amy's saying she's burnt and itchy as well. Yeah. Hey David, welcome through. We're just having a bit of a bit of an open chat right now, an open uh, open hearted chat. Like, where are we even in this game? Twenty four minutes in still. I've been playing this game for about an hour. Just talking about uh, what people feel they they have issues with, and just trying to chat through it really. Give each other some support. So is there anything that's been particularly bothering you, David, over the last 48 hours that we can help you with? Sharing is caring. It's good to talk. Is there anything in your world that's been stressing you out in the last two days that by telling us will make it better? If so, go ahead. The platform is open and we're all watching you. If it's just the heat, we're all on board. It's too bloody hot. Senna, Senna. Yeah, I'm buying the new F1 2021 game uh, over the weekend, so I can have Senna as my teammate. We'll be doing some uh, F1 2021 streams next week. Ole, 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 ola. Senna. Talking to the man. Look at the hat I nearly always wear on stream, but don't off the camera. It's shaking a bit. The center is. Serna. There's my leg. Look at that leg. Oh, there's some boxes there. Look at that leg there. Mm. Really fucking white though. Look how blood. The cam. The thing's reflecting off it. That's how white I am. Hi. Just realised you probably all couldn't really hear me too well. You're so, you're so, you'll also realise as well, I don't know if it's the same for the other guys. Um, but when you're an adult, you'll probably have very few friends that you knew from school. I don't speak to anybody I went to school with. And I think the last time I spoke to somebody I went to school with was about 20 years ago. Academia and International. Yeah, that was a crazy game. 7 6 on aggregate. She wants my wall. Why does she want my wall? What's with my wall? She got back pain. Is that sciatica or is that due to the bent spine? So I have a bit of a sciatica issue due to being a tit when I was younger. I tried to move a really heavy thing. I can. So yeah, side so side so obviously not friends with anybody from school or, or in contact as much. I don't know what that is. Let me put my hand down there. Where is that? Where is that coming from? Where is Oh that's the back of the laptop. This is the little, yeah. This what's that? Oh, that's my um, 
trying to make my neck better stuff my mum gave me but look it's only factor 15 so that's what killed me but yeah that's the back of my laptop you like that as a colour do you Amy? you want that as your wall you'll have to take a little screenshot and go down to Dulux and be like give me that colour That's the same as me, son. You're a textrovert. So you only become an extrovert when you text. That's the same for me. Have you not been to a doctor about it, Amy? That's not something they can do. You do know the history of purple as well, Amy, don't you? that purple has only really been used as a colour by the masses in the last hundred years maybe purple is the sign of um, great affluence so you have to be really rich to have purple historically because the dye to make purple was very very expensive um, so only royalty robes and stuff there's quite a bit of purple because it used to signif signify uh, grandeur and money. Oh, I nearly scored again. She scored again. Oh, yeah. Well, that's sort of the history. So, um, relating to the colour purple. Uh, it's similar to saffron and stuff. Like saffron's very expensive for what it is. I think saffron is more expensive weight wise than gold. And saffron is something you use in food, <laughs> which is quite crazy. Yeah, purple was only allowed for royalty back in the day. So you have royal tastes, Amy. And how big are your fingers, Amy, as well? Do you have long, thin fingers or short, stumpy fingers? Because that relates to something as well. Saffron's not really, I don't know if, it might be classified as a herb, but it's more like a, a, you know, like vanilla pods and stuff like that, it's more like that. Twiggy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know exactly where saffron comes from. What part of a what plant? You don't know about your fingers. Oh, okay. Um, it's e easy enough to tell. So, like mine. So David's chatting about the Olympics, which I think is a very odd competition to be having right now as well to be fair so my fingers uh, can you see it? so that is what I'd classify as short and stumpy um, so like the gaps between each knuckle you can see there's not a lot um, so I am of working class historic descent um, if they're a bit more long and thinner um, you're genetically slightly more likely to have been in an affluent family because you weren't working so the short stubby fingers is a sign of obviously working your fingers hitting stuff all the time and slowly just becoming a bit shorter and stumpier through evolution I, I don't know how true that one is that was something I got randomly told at secondary school once or twice so I've not really heard it, it, that a lot but it was an interesting idea have you not seen me before David? I'm licking the camera. It's very wobbly. Um, now you get to see my bear midriff. Right, as I, we're going to finish this game. I really like my cigarette.
because I don't smoke real cigarettes. It goes out a lot. I smoke roll ups. Like long roll ups so I don't have to. So it does look like a, a joint, as it were. Not that that's a bad thing, I have nothing against weed smokers. In fact, I do smoke a bit here and there myself. It's dangerous than alcohol. Um, I don't really drink at all. Alcohol makes me quite sick. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Wormer. Kieselman. Do, do, do. Martin. <coughs> <laughs> That's not gone well. That drink's not well. <laughs> Good. Conceded because of my coughing fit. <coughs> Can see how though I ended up with a semi six pack due to my asthma. <coughs> coughing a lot. Right on half time as well. That's annoying. I've done that. Yeah, well, I, I really enjoyed the randomness of our chat this evening, actually. It's been very interesting. Lots of interesting... Top... Sorry, someone just walked over my grave. <coughs> oh, you're not missing out too much, Asana. When was it? Well, I tried to have a beer. Oh, it's still bloody here, actually. I tried to have a beer during the football. I'll try and sort of show you because here, where's my midriff? So here's the beer. So I was drinking this during the football. Can you see where the liquid still is? So that's, that's what I managed to drink during one game of the football. I couldn't drink anymore, so I probably drunk a third of that bottle. So that's only 200 mils. I need to get rid of it because it's been there about a week. <coughs> but yeah, so that's. I've drunk that in the like the last nearly year. That's it. I've got a bottle of vodka somewhere. Um, I bought one new year. I had three swigs out of it. Still looks full. Plus, it was pretty rank cheap vodka. So. Yeah, it's been, um, been good to talk these things through. Had, had my opinions on them and each other's. <coughs> Good to share those sort of things. Great word. Yeah, true sound. A bit of diversity. I wonder where Foxy is though, because didn't he say he was off tomorrow? Because he crashed and burned. I didn't see him in any of the Discord chats either when I got into work. Would, wouldn't surprise me though because he's been out of work for quite a while. <coughs> and then having to go back, it's a huge shock to his body. He's going to be knackered. No, you're welcome, Cyber. I'm here any time to hear those sort of things. That's what I feel like I was born to do in a way. Absorb other people's pains and issues and help them feel better. Hence why I want to be a teacher in so many ways. Oh, there we go. The winner is David. Congratulations, David. You will get a hundred Ragnar riches. <coughs> Well done, Javi. Javi Simmons. Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. And then the brute force and guile in equal amount sets up the chance to score. And he doesn't disappoint, does he? David, there you are. So that propels David well up the leaderboard now up into the top six or seven. 
up into sixth place David has just gone he's jumped Vandal and Fox <coughs> that little win no, I contest. understand completely and Samra I just I hope you weren't in trouble <laughs> like you said you were in trouble <coughs> after all the sub button and everything else I shouldn't have asked really, it's not my, my place, I just wanted to make sure you were all good, in a way. <coughs> well those sort of little passes are far too easy against this team. I'm barely paying attention, just destroying them. <coughs> so what, welcome everybody who's watching as well. No, even though he's not chatting, I appreciate you. Remember to like if you haven't, and subscribe if you're new. Every like and every sub massively helps me as a, a small YouTuber. <coughs> Command side. Are you ready? Just do a little thumbs up if you're ready to be taught a lesson. Or, or I'll do it with Usama first, and then you can watch what happens. We'll do that. We'll do Usama first. So we'll do it with Usama first, and we'll do a little lesson. Yeah, it's good. Good to have you chatting away, Sai. Gets uh, everybody else chatting. You bring people out of themselves. Um, <coughs> so, Zama, are you ready? I'm going to teach you, and then Sai's going to try it afterwards. Give me the thumbs up when you're ready, Zama. Zama is ready, so. Oh, <laughs> no, G. <coughs> so Sama, type as I speak, exclamation mark, add com, A D D C O M. So that's the first bit, exclamation mark, add com, and then space, <coughs> exclamation mark, Usama. So this will then mean you've added a command. For people when they type exclamation mark Usama. For example, so that will then work once we've finished this process. So you've done the add com, you've done the Usama, then you press space again and type whatever you would like to promote yourself and copy in your channel. So yeah, that you've added the add com Usama. You didn't type the message though, so it doesn't know what to respond with because at the moment you're not telling it a response. So type that again, then press space and type please sub to Osama's clip channel, he's great, or whatever you want to put, and then paste your channel there. And that will create a command like this one. <coughs> so you're doing your own one, Osama, so you can type what you like about yourself, type what you feel. The word legend is fine, the word great is fine, the word whatever you whatever you feel. So I think I did Mark in, I did Jamie. I'm happy to edit it later if you'd rather my own comment on you. But yeah, just do the initial bit, please subscribe to something and then put in your channel. Oh my god. Well, well done, Usama. That's now what's going <laughs> Oh, dear. And do not abuse the adcom option, or I will demod you. But, yeah, that's how you add comms. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> so you can use that as future knowledge. So now if you type Usama exclamation, it is just going to 
right, Usama is a banana cake. Not linked to your channel or anything. Which isn't great, is it, Usama? So, watch this. It's alright, so I'm fixing it. Just don't do anything. Just wait there. It's coming. You're gonna like it. I hope. Do 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 do. Let's wait till Nightbot responds. <clears throat> you can edit commands. Yes, as I as I type that. <coughs> so that's how you edit them. So uh, that's done. <coughs> Beautiful then you can do like this. Do 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 da 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 So you ready for this one? It's a coming. There we go. <coughs> so that one should come in now as well. It has indeed. that one. Uh, I'll better do a foxy one. I'm going to have to edit these after I think because I need to make some of the comments a bit better. <coughs> but yeah, if you ever want to edit your one, you have to type it all again and paste the channel. You can't just, it doesn't like load it up, so if you go edit com and then type your thing, you're basically starting it again but yeah there you go guys so let's see if the side one worked it should do so in the future as we we will get bigger once FIFA 2022 comes out and I start playing some of the Formula 1 2021 as well we're gonna we're gonna get traction we'll keep going we, we're not gonna stay around 80 we've been on 80 for too long is not updating at all what's going on <coughs> I think Nightbot has died <coughs> yeah we, we lost that 
a bit of traction for a little while ago it was moving well and then it's all good at least we know the subs are genuine and it's all clear uh, um, so yeah that's worked and that's worked um, I'll be honest in a moment so I won't add Amy because she, she doesn't stream regularly like the rest of us but if and when she does I'm more than happy to have that but um, it's, it's more for trying to bump up people who stream streams uh, subscribers so that's probably all I'm going to do actually I've got Jamie Marky and you three that's all I promoting it. If we, if we still had the original community room, still in contact with Harley, I'd do Harley, but I'm not sub to Harley myself anymore. So. No worries, buddy. But yeah, as I say, if, if and when she starts streaming and wants her, her shout-outs, she, she will get them as well. She's part of the gang. All die, so. Yes. Well done. I nearly forgot the dice. See, I feel like I've given some people better things than others, so this one might seem better than I've given others. So apologies if it does, just let me know if you're not happy with what I've put, put on yours. If you feel I could make it a bit more attractive. Harley does, does he still stream regularly, does he? Because Nedge doesn't come here either. That might be a time thing. This was a great idea of Marky's. I don't know if he got it from someone else or something. Did it Thief Bros did it? I saw I think I saw it maybe it worked in Thief Bros channel as well. But yeah, it's a really good idea. Because you can even set them on a on a timer. So the nightbot just randomly says once an hour or something maybe. <coughs> it wouldn't surprise me if Reese and Harley kinda know each other and are just doing it together because it was definitely Harley who did the last one from the from that fallout when I sent the messages. There's no doubt at all the way that all went down in Sidestream that ha that had to be him. Well I randomly had eighty two and then dropped back down to seventy nine and then back up to eighty two and then back it literally fluctuated around those numbers for three or four days. Like yes at one point it was eighty two and then, but on my studio it said eighty two on my phone it said eighty and now it's saying eighty one everywhere. So I, I don't fully know what's going on. <coughs> but yeah I'm hoping once I play a bit of F one twenty 21 as well with the new options with that. I'm going to stream some of that in the next few days. Me and my mate are going to be doing a uh, co cooperative career, so he he may join for some of the. Ch oh, he hit it first time. May join him on a party course. You may be able to hear him as well. <coughs> So I press first time again, just hit it, stop running. Go on Fatty, go on Fatty, oh, go on whoever you are, 
Pascal Pedro in the middle of the season. Who is that that's scored? Oh, Greenwood, nice. Is that seven, is it? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Wow, yeah, seven more. It's still the only game of the stream so far. <clears throat> Give me that midfielder. I don't know how many times I'll try and press it. You know, I'm nowhere near anybody. Thanks, game. I won that ball ref. Get the Oh my god! You cheating bastards. <coughs> oh come on, goalie. Just flapping it thin air. I don't, I don't miss them. If they're going to end up being in Jamie's um, member night Pro Cups games, I'll probably be leaving that as well. <coughs> don't want to be playing in the same team as Harley and Reese. Good, Amy. What are you going to stream at? Oh my God! What is that? That pass was terrible. Put me off. Um, I probably end it too. Finish this game. Get through the transfer window if we haven't. <coughs> Rocket League. I have played it once or twice. I don't play it as such. So trippy. <coughs> I got paid by two companies today. <laughs> paid by Tesco and my current job. So that means. Give me a shake. Shank my headset out. I'm going straight on Amazon. I don't care. If the money's not there, the money's not there. I haven't seen it yet. Where's, that? Where's my Amazon at? Give me Amazon. There it is. Amazon. F1 2021. F1 2021. Where is it? Oh no, it's not available, is it? I just remembered. Let's go to. Uh, well, it's all going so swimmingly. Yeah, it seems first. That's probably what I do. So, to be honest. So, one twenty twenty one. The Julux one. Why does anybody have the Julux edition? This is not good. I don't want to have to buy it off the bloody store. It's like 75 quid. Maybe it's only available in the store. That's quite nice. <coughs> Oh 
man. I'm gonna have to download it. <coughs> I've got no space on my hard drive. That's not good. Um, yeah, it's none of our op options or business either, really, to be fair with Sam. It's all down to Jamie, it's his channel, who he has in member nights, is who he has as members. They have paid to be members. It's a bit hard to restrict that as well. <coughs> but we shall see what how it progresses after everything that happened. 7-2 win, that's a really nice result, considering we weren't really playing. <coughs> so are we still in the window? Yeah we are, so I said we'd get to the end of the window. jobs are we being offered? We're not taking any. None. So, so what we do needing to do finish in the Champions League place. So we're not in the Champions League this year then, I wouldn't have thought. Academy players, so sign a veteran. Oh, I'm glad we signed. That. See, wow, wow, my plan. My, me signing that 45 year old dude, it was a high priority as well. I'm a bloody genius. Um, so we need to reach. Oh, oh, shiz. Um. I think we may be in the Champions League. But I didn't realise it. So this is top four in Germany for Champions League. <coughs> Am I just destroying teams? I didn't realise my pad was dying. Apologies, then. This is really awkward. Can't sit at this angle charging it. Oh my god. It might die again. I'll be back. I don't think it did disconnect. But, um, yeah, if Harley ever comes through, I wouldn't have. Be objected. Objective. Holy moly, James Madison and 64 million. I don't think James Madison's good enough though. No. Um, so let's test their willpower. No, I don't want to view him actually, I wanted to see someone else. Negotiate. Then again, from, I may have banned him. So I might have to fix that. Let's 
see what they say to that. I'll take that. Oh my days. Um, guys, I need, I need advice. What, 80 million and Pogba? You'd take that, would you? <coughs> No, both saying no. Don't want any of them. See, I'd have liked Frederico Chiesa. Well, this is the youngster that scored for us the other day. There's nobody left, really. That we'd be any good. Oh. There is one guy. <clears throat> so it's either Bruno Fernandes or do we get Bruno Fernandes? We haven't had him. And straight switch Rue. Nope. They they ain't happy with this guy. They ain't happy. So to get him, you're gonna have to give us this. <clears throat> then you can have. Oh my. So you get into this sort. You both want Bruno, is that? We want Bruno. That would be a straight switch. Uh, Money wise, I would only have about 30 million. I wouldn't have a striker. the only downside we'd have to try and get a strike for like 20 million we wouldn't really have because we've got Mason Mount playing in attacking midfield we'd have to potentially try and swap Mount for somebody so you get get Bruno Fernandes but get rid of Mount maybe we'll see what they say weren't very happy with that. He got a bit angry. Oh, you can head off any time, Usama. <clears throat> Don't feel obliged. <clears throat> so we'll get to the final game. Uh, transfer window, <coughs> etc. I'm really annoying having it on that last day because I can't sim past it because of the transfer window. Simming to it doesn't sim it. I've pressed circle enough times. Come on. Yeah, Greenwood could have played a striker. It's very true. I guess they valued uh, Fernandez a lot higher. So we're actually top of the table. Saarbrücken. Above Dortmund, nine hundred. We do the calendar sims, like Marky Boy said. Oh, there's a couple. 
couple of bits of news. Oh, and having said about selling Mason Mount, someone came in for it. Until we were right on the limit of being able to afford him. I had to fiddle with every penny. So it was 677. <clears throat> Do. Oh, they have Vince's Jr. Yeah, this is definitely a possibility. Well, look, we can take that. I'm not looking to sell him at all. We'll take Lataro. Zinedine Zidane does not like me. <coughs> not very nice to him at all. I don't have to sell him, buddy. He came for free. Well, sort of. Uh, I think this might be one of our other left backs. No, the right back. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, they can have him. <coughs> I could have. I can do that pretty easy actually on the laptop. I don't think we really need to try and get anybody different. Who's not worth it, mate? Oh, him. <coughs> wow. Those three and up. Oh, Pedro has turned into a bit of a fucking mentalist as well. 
the same age as Mason Greenwood and everybody goes on about how great Mason Greenwood is on here. Fatty is insane, to be fair. This guy is ridiculous. He was 72 when we first played him last season. Now he's on 84. And Jerry Simmons has increased a massive amount. Got that guy for free, which is amazing. Got those three in for free. This guy was free. It's already worth 14 million central defender. That's good. <coughs> it's better to tend to him to him. We need to play him. Kader needs to get into the team. Oh yeah, we did have Ross Barkley for a while. Where did he go? He was free. We got him in on a free. And we trade him. Oh yeah. Towards Carl Walker. Yeah, we got Ross Barkley in for a free. For brief. For a week or two. He was at the club. <coughs> spending. Last time we went through a transfer window it went to 1.6 billion <coughs> which was just ridiculous. That's the transfer window done and dusted. Patty's already pushing them at the top there. Monthly squad report. Anybody? Oh, it's still him. Cool. I said about two, didn't I? So that's, that's worked out well. I don't want to go though, I want to play a game. But home to Hoffenheim is the next one. Who's left there? Do I end it now or do I play Hoffenheim? One for end, two for Hoffenheim. Press one or two. <laughs> You're deciding. Oh, wait, hold up. I wonder if this works. I've not tried this before.
Well, that hasn't worked, has it? Oh, has my thing crashed? Well, it's one all at the moment. Anybody else? Osama gone when you need him. I'm pretty tired, but I'm going to be awake for a while anyway, so okay. If I play badly, I'll be a bit annoyed with myself. I need to get him in the team, so he needs to be improved. I should just play him. Be very permanent. <coughs> Let's go. This game will be through pretty quick anyway, compared to the last one. And then I will definitely end at the end of that game, there'll be no questions. Oof. great at the moment. A couple of passes going astray. Now I'm not able to tackle this dude. You can sense the threat is there. Sandro Donali. And it might be. Oh my and god. The opening goal, the ideal way to start. So the match is restarted. 1-0 here. Stayed pretty loyal throughout the stream, I think, so, depending on who it is. Oh, I'll go away. away. In behind for him to 
Yeah, pretty good tired though, yeah, so it's definitely the last one. Nietzsche next to Melly. <coughs> oh, you should have gone with the other guy and left me free. He didn't. Oh, So John. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Once again, the sides are level. It's a kaleidoscope of shifting emotions. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Even after getting to go back to the Well, we've both only had two shots each. Clinical finishing on show. Tonali with it. 
Bellingham. they do
That's poo. button then. Oh well, I was in the direction. We're all falling down, we're really lost. Well, apologies to end on a defeat and like ending on defeats. But we are ending on a defeat. So I appreciate everybody who's been here with the majority into the end gutted we couldn't finish off with a win were we even leading at any point no kept coming back couldn't come back in the end nathan redmond scored for them oh, they scored all their shots one of those so um thank you so si, if you're still there and uh, amy and sama and the people behind um i didn't can you still hear me? Um, apologies, obviously you know what happened there. Um, so yeah, thank you all very much. Good to see you. And I'll see you soon. Take care.